afternoon, everybody. We've got a great webinar today. Thanks for joining us. My name is Joni Ogg, and on behalf of TravelProfessionalNews.com and HomeBasedTravelAgent.com and FindAHostTravelAgency.com, I want to welcome all of you to today's webinar, and I thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us. And today's topic is how to market and sell villas and earn top commissions. So you're in for a great ride today. There's going to be some amazing things you're going to see on this slide presentation. I'm so excited to welcome Rental Escapes to the virtual stage. Our speaker today is Willie Fernandez. And Willie just told me that he met me back, I don't even know how many years ago, but he said it was going to age us. But he looks really young and I feel really old. But still, <laughs> Willie, it's so fun that, that you shared that with me back in the, the Joel Abel's Cruisathon days. So that goes way, way back. But his experience in the travel industry spans more than 30 years across the cruise, hotel, vacation, and villa industries. He's also an accomplished and award winning digital marketer who has transformed some of the industry's most recognized brands. And as chief marketing officer, he is responsible for Rental Escape's brand strategy and marketing initiatives. And he also oversees the agency relations and product teams who liaises with travel advisor partners and villa suppliers. So when he's not at his desk, you can usually find him competing nationally on the bass circuit. So he's a fisherman. He also enjoys spending time with family and traveling. Please remember that you are all muted, but we do, of course, welcome your questions at any time. You just need to put those in the questions area that you see on the right-hand side of your screen. And when the presentation is all over, we're going to take as many questions as we can. And then following the questions, we're going to be awarding not one, not two, but three gift cards. So listen attentively and enjoy the presentation. I'm going to turn the microphone over to Willie so he can get started. Thank you, Willie. Thanks, Joni, for that introduction. And good afternoon to all of our amazing Travel Advisor partners. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for allowing me to spend the next hour with you, sharing with you all of the amazing things going on at Rental Escapes, uh, a deep look into our portfolio across the globe, and really what makes us the premier villa rental company in the industry. As uh, Jody mentioned, I am um, now a 33-year veteran of the cruise industry, uh, of the travel industry. I spent the first 25 years of my career in cruise, and now I've spent the last eight years of my career on the villa side. And I will tell you, um, though I miss cruise, I absolutely love the villas. Um, as a company, Rental Escapes is based out of Montreal, Canada, but I am based here in sunny Florida. Uh, we have been um, one of the leading luxury villa wholesalers uh, for over 12 years now. But when you think of us, don't just think of us as a villa rental company. We are much more than that. In fact, what I often say is we are a company that prides itself in creating very personalized villa experiences. I can tell you that no two villa vacations that we've ever created have been the same. So how do we create these villa experiences? Well, it first starts off with our portfolio of villas. Um, and as uh, Joni mentioned at the, um, at the introduction, I am um, responsible, along with my product team, um, for overseeing all of the villas that make it into the portfolio. Our portfolio of villas today consists of about 5,000 properties, ranging from one bedroom to 32 bedroom, a starting price point of about $500 up to as much as $150,000 per night. We're on four continents, over 75 countries, and over 155 destinations around the globe. And I have the difficult task of traveling around the globe to look at these villas. None of the villas make it into the portfolio if they haven't been fully vetted and inspected by myself or a member of my product team. These villas, as well as our villa owners, have to meet our standards. We've got about a 120 point list of standards that every villa and every villa owner must meet. For you as a travel advisor, that provides you with tremendous comfort that someone has taken the time to fully vet and inspect the villa that your client is getting ready to book, that the quality of the villa that you are reserving for them is of the highest standard. Next, 
when you work with us, you are going to work with a highly trained and highly traveled team of villa specialists. Now, on the Rental Escapes website, there's no online booking. For us, this is a very personal experience, and we want to be able to work with you. We want to be able to get to know your clients. We want to be able to match them up with the right villa for them to have the most incredible villa vacation possible. Our villa specialists know the villas inside and out. They know the destinations inside and out. As a company, we make uh, tremendous investments sending our villa specialists out into the destinations to look at the villas, to get to know the destinations, so that when they are working with you, you are truly working with an expert. Throughout the year, they are getting round the clock training on destinations, new villas coming online, <coughs> uh, information from the tourism boards as to what's going on in the destinations and so forth. With every villa reservation, you are going to work with one of our concierge agents. And this is the award-winning team of, of specialists who will work with you in creating all of the in-destination experiences as well as arranging all of the in-villa services. And what we say on that particular team is if your clients can dream of it, we will create it. For us, no is not an option. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about concierge in just a bit. We are available to you and your clients 24 seven. So regardless of where your clients are around the world, we provide them in their arrival documents with a uh, telephone number that they can reach out to us. We have a team um, after hours and on the weekends um, that does man the phones should we ever get a call. So in the event that your client calls us um, where there might be an issue at the villa or they need to make a change to a service or experience that they've arranged, they have a question, we are available to assist them with anything that could possibly come up. We do pay a 10% commission guaranteed on every villa booking and throughout the year, we do bonus commission opportunities as well. Lastly, one of the things that I'm most proud of is we as a company provide tremendous support to you, the travel advisor. And part of that support comes in saying thank you. And back in April of 2023, in our way of being able to give back and support you is we launched the industry's first and industry's only rewards program for the advisor community. With this rewards program, what we do is we provide you with free villa stays. Now these are not fam trips. These are your own personal villa vacations. And the program is very simple. For every dollar that you book with us, you will earn points. And what's important about those points is unlike other reward programs and you know in other portions of the travel industry that expire our points will never expire um, you can use your points whenever you would like or you can bank them for as long as you would like but when you are ready to travel you can speak to one of the villa specialists they will let you know exactly um, how many points you have but we are also sending out quarterly statements so you know your balance and you can redeem the points towards your own personal villa vacations. Now, if you have enough points to cover the entire cost of the villa, then your villa vacation is free. If you wanna upgrade to a larger villa, then you can cash in the points value that you have and then come out of pocket for um, the difference. I will tell you in 2023, we had 32 advisors take advantage of the program um, and go on their own personal villa vacations. As I mentioned, we do bonus commissions throughout the year. And hold on one second, I'm gonna get this off my screen, okay. Um, and in May, it's Travel Appreciation Month here at Rental Escapes. And again, another way that we say thank you is by providing you with this um, incredible promotion of up to $5,000 in bonus commission, which is combinable with your rewards program. Now this is for any booking that is made in the month of May that travels by December 31st, 2025. So we are taking villa reservations as far out as December uh, 2025. We're even taking reservations for 2026. I can assure you, if you're looking at booking 2026, we will honor this promotion for you as well. So let's talk about some of the benefits of the villa, as well as the things that we look for when we're going into a villa 
that we want to add to the portfolio. So it first starts off with the three C's, comfort, convenience, and cleanliness. So the portfolio again is anywhere from one bedroom to 32 bedrooms. We even have private estates and private islands. I mean, our private estate will actually occupy a total of 45 bedrooms, okay? When we go into these villas, we look to make sure that wherever possible that the villa has a private pool. Um, and I wanna say close to 99% of our villas have private pools. We are looking for open floor plans. We are looking for comfortable furnishings. Um, we are looking to make sure um, that guests can easily um, walk around or if they have mobility issues, um, let's say they might come in on a scooter or a wheelchair, that they can easily navigate um, the, the property. We look to make sure that the villa has high-speed internet and Wi-Fi. Uh, we look to ensure that there is cable TV, satellite TV. Nowadays, we even look to see um, if they have um, smart TVs or that they have streaming devices like an Apple TV, a Roku, uh, an Amazon Fire Stick. Many of our clients nowadays, um, rather than watching cable or satellite, they enjoy the streaming services. They want to be able to connect their devices to the televisions. We look for very comfortable furnishings. We look for comfortable bedding. We look for great linens. We look for great um, towels in the bathrooms. Um, we look for breathtaking views wherever possible. Uh, we try to put ourselves um, in the exact same mindset of, of your clients being able to wake up in the morning and take advantage of a beautiful view. Uh, we look for um, expansive outdoor living spaces so that if they wanted to have breakfast outside, or lunch outside, or dinner outside, they can do that and at the same time take in just a beautiful view. We look to ensure that every villa prior to your client's arrival is thoroughly deep cleaned. Um, in the event that the villa has housekeeping or comes with staff, then that housekeeper or that member of staff throughout your client's stay is ensuring the cleanliness of the, uh, of the villa. If you have clients who have any sort of, of a skin condition or a skin allergy and there are certain cleaning products or cleaning chemicals that um, are not to be used, if you let our concierge team know, we can let the teams on the ground know that when they're going through the cleaning process to not use certain chemicals or to use certain chemicals. For instance, when we travel um, and, and my youngest son is traveling with us, I always ask the cleaning crew that they not use Clorox. Um, he does have a um, pretty serious reaction on his skin to the Clorox. So instead they use other cleaning products, but Clorox is, uh, is not one of them. So again, that is something we, we can't arrange for you. We look to ensure that the villas provide as much privacy, safety, and security as possible. Many of our villas are located within gated communities. Uh, in Jamaica, the Jamaican Tourism Board requires that all the villas come with a night watchman from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. We look to make sure that the villas are not stacked up against one another. We want to make sure that there's ample space between the property so that your clients can feel that sense of privacy. Um, in an instance to where we may have a VIP or celebrity that is traveling, we need added privacy. We can create the added privacy. Um, I tell the story of we, we had a, uh, a guest who was traveling and their property backed up to a golf course and their security team was concerned that they would be recognized and the golfers would come up to the fence and start interacting with the family and their vacation would be impacted. So what we did is we ordered 10 foot potted bamboo plants and we'd lined the back fence creating like a privacy screen. So they were able to go out there with their family, friends and loved ones, and enjoy the pool area and completely feel uninterrupted. Many of our villas do come with staff or fully staffed. And on the Rental Escapes website, it will detail for you, villa by villa, if there's a member of staff and how much staff is present. You can also perform a search on the Rental Escapes website if you're looking for villas with staff. Now, in a fully staffed villa, which is by far our most popular request, that villa will usually come with a chef, sometimes two chefs, or a cook, and the main difference between the chef and the cook is going to be the level of training that that individual has received. I will tell you, in the Caribbean, the majority um, of them are chefs. Where you tend to see more of the cooks is going to be in Mexico and then sometimes in Europe. But for the most part, we try to secure villas with chefs because we know how important dining is um, for guests staying at the, uh, at the villas. 
The villas will also come with housekeeping. Uh, many of the villas will also come with a laundress. So when your clients are coming home from a beautiful seven day vacation, the laundress has actually washed and packed their seven days worth of clothing. clothing. So now your clients are coming home with a suitcase full of clean clothing. It will come with a butler or a house manager. Um, it will come with a gardener. Um, it will come with a pool attendant. Some of our villas will actually come with a car and driver. Some of them will actually even come with a boat and a boat captain as well. In the event that the villa is not staffed, whether it's fully staffed or even a simple member of staff, our concierge team can work with you and your clients in arranging as much or as little staff as your clients would like. We can arrange everything from a simple breakfast or dinner um, with a chef specializing in specific cuisine or a chef that um, can cook gluten-free or vegetarian or kosher. We can arrange all of that. Um, if you're coming here to Orlando, where I'm based out of, and rather than doing a character breakfast at one of the theme parks, you wanted to do a character breakfast at one of the villas, um, we do arrange that. We work with a third-party company, we bring the characters in, uh, we bring the chef in, um, and we do a private um, uh, character experience right at the villa. So unlike at the theme parks, where it's very difficult nowadays to get a table for four or six, you imagine when there's 10, 12, or even 18 that are traveling, and rather than a 30 second experience with the characters, you can now spend an hour. Uh, many of our guests are opting for these character breakfasts at the, uh, at the villas. And one of the things that I'm gonna talk about is just the tremendous value that the villas offer. So when you're talking to your clients about the villas, one of the things that I would always encourage you is to break it down to a per bedroom cost. And I'm gonna show that to you as we go through some of the villas. When you break it down to a per bedroom cost and they compare that to that of a resort or to that of a hotel, then they start to understand how affordable and the value that the villas bring, especially when you are in a fully staffed villa. Now, one of the questions that I get asked a lot is really, well, what about the cost of food in a staffed villa or in a villa in general? So in a staffed villa, the cost of food is going to vary based on consumption based on whether you want sit down, uh, family style, buffet. Um, also the, the, um, the choices of what you're looking to eat. So for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, oftentimes a snack, the price of food is gonna vary anywhere between 65 to about 105, $115 per person. And again, what's going to determine that is on the $65 to $95 range, you're looking at basic chicken, pork, um, and beef for dinner. But again, this will include uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, but it's dinner that typically uh, will, will skew the uh, the average. Um, on on the higher end, I'm going to say $95 to $125. Um, if you're looking, if your clients are looking for more seafood, uh, more fish. Um, uh, different cuts of beef like sirloin, filet mignon, ribeyes, tomahawks, uh, then that will skew to the higher um, to the higher end. But on average, as rule of thumb, I would say anywhere between $65 and $115 per person per day um, for three meals and a snack prepared by the chef at the villa. Now, don't get me wrong, I have seen food costs as much as $250 per person per day, um, but that was a guest who was looking for three meals a day, all buffet style with carving station, omelet stations for breakfast, pancake stations for breakfast, um, prime rib at a carving station for dinner, lobster pretty much every night for dinner. So again, it, it will skew depending on what your clients are looking for. But your clients are always going to pay grocery store prices. Um, the villa staff will go out and get your clients food. They'll bring back the receipts. They will charge a, a nominal service fee of anywhere from 5% to 20% of the grocery bill for them to run out to the grocery store, the liquor store, et cetera, uh, to bring back those grocery items to, to the villa. But one of the things I would recommend is that with our concierge team that you um, prearrange at least the first two days worth of food at the villa. We do have menus. We do have grocery lists that we do provide you. Um, you and your clients can select the items and then we will have those items brought to the villa. So when your clients arrive, um, the, uh, the refrigerator and the cupboards are properly stocked. So here's an example of a property uh, where we talk about value. So this is an eight bedroom property on the beach in Punta Cana. 
And again, if you were to break this down rather than on a nightly rate, let's say we break it down to a per person rate, what you would be looking at is a per person rate of about $730 per person plus tax. So it's going to come out to about $900 roughly to be in a luxury five-star property on the beach in Punta Cana. Okay. And again, we're going to go through, through this. So throughout my career in villas, I have gotten a lot of questions. I've gotten a lot of comments. I've gotten a lot of objections. Um, here's some of the most popular ones that I've gotten from, from advisors. So um, one of them is, Willie, I'll, I can book it on Airbnb. Uh, and yes, you absolutely can. But um, let me tell you what sets us apart. So number one, and most importantly, our portfolio of villas has been fully vetted and inspected. Though we only have 5,000 properties, these 5,000 properties are of the highest quality. While many of the do-it-yourself sites have millions of properties, no one is really taking the time to vet and inspect these properties. You don't know if the villa that you are booking or the property that you're booking on the do-it-yourself sites is indeed what your clients are going to be walking into. Two, we are available 24-7. Um, we are also your greatest advocate. We are your client's greatest advocate, right? Once you make a payment on the do-it-yourself site, once that money's been received with that villa owner, that villa owner has their own best interest at heart versus when you work with us as your partner, we have your best interest. We have your client's best interest at heart. We have relationships with all of our owners. So if there's an issue that arises and we need to ask for compensation, believe me, we will and we have and we've been very successful many of times doing what is right by your client. We're available 24-7, so regardless of where your clients are around the globe, we are available to them, we are available to you. Lastly, and most importantly, many of the do-it-yourself sites, including Airbnb, came out and said they would no longer support the travel advisor community and no longer pay commissions. That will never be the case with rental escapes. We value the relationships that we have with our travel partners, and we will always pay a 10% commission guaranteed. Plus, as you can see now in the month of May, we are paying the bonus commission of up to $5,000. I often hear, really, villas are too expensive. There's this misconception that the villas are too expensive, that it's too luxury. Again, in our portfolio, we have everything from a one-bedroom to a 32-bedroom. Our starting price point is $500, and it goes up from there. So I can assure you that I have a villa for any one of your clients to meet their, their budget types, um, if I don't have it in the portfolio, I can certainly find one in the uh, through many of our partners that would fit exactly what your clients are looking for. And then when you compare that to um, your average uh, five-star resort or five-star hotel, that's where the villas provide tremendous value, especially when you consider the cost of food. So, I mean, consider what a simple breakfast would run at a five-star property and then compare that to what you would be getting at a villa for three meals a day. That's where the villas also provide tremendous value. Here's a sample of many of the destinations that we cover with the largest concentration being in the Caribbean. This is a year round destination as is Mexico. Europe is seasonal end of April to about end of September, mid October. And I'm gonna be going through all these different destinations. And then we've got some really unique destinations out in Africa, Asia, uh, the Maldives, uh, Dubai, we just added um, our, our latest property um, down in New Zealand. Um, we also added um, a really unique property in Copenhagen, Denmark. It actually used to be the former U.S. Embassy um, in Copenhagen, and um, the government sold it. The gentleman went in and bought it. He completely restored it and now turned it into a beautiful villa in, uh, in Copenhagen. So let's take a look at the portfolio, and I'm going to highlight for you also some of my favorite villas. So this is Yorari Royale. This is a beautiful nine bedroom, fully staffed property in Cap Canna. Uh, one of the things that I love about this particular property, aside from the amazing staff, um, is um, with the, the whole pickleball craze that's been um, going on, the owner of this property actually removed the beach volleyball court that he had uh, behind the house and actually built a state of the art um, pickleball court. Um, so many of our pickleball groups um, and, and past guests who love pickleball are coming over to Yorari Royale to, to play pickleball. Now we have many villas um, in the Caribbean um, and in Mexico that either have a pickleball court on them or have access to a pickleball court. 
Um, Yorari Royale is one of those that has the pickleball court right on the property. Um, most recently for a group that we had at Yorari Royale, we also um, brought in a um, pickleball instructor um, and they were getting lessons in the morning and then they were playing tournaments in the afternoon um, right there at the, uh, the property. This is Villa Loren. Um, this was our 2022 Villa of the Year and I had the privilege of staying um, at this property in December of 2022. Um, this is a beautiful eight bedroom property. It does back up to um, the golf course um, at the Punta Cana Resort. One of the things that I enjoy most about the Punta Cana Resort is especially when you arrange the fast track service through our concierge team, from the time I deplane to the time I get to the villas, it's less than 45 minutes. Um, the fast track service zips me right through the airport and then the Punta Cana Resort is less than seven minutes away from the airport. Um, so it's a great destination for your clients to start their villa vacation right away. Uh, the staff will greet them. Our concierge team lets the staff know exactly what time they can expect your clients um, based on the flight schedule. Um, oftentimes they'll have breakfast or, a, I'm sorry, um, lunch or a snack or, or, or dinner waiting for them, depending on where they're flying in. Um, absolutely beautiful, beautiful property. Now, one of three of my favorite properties that I have in the presentation, uh, this is Hawksville. Um, all of the villas that I'm showing you, um, I've, I've visited these property, but I do have my favorites. Um, Hawksville is one of them. Uh, this is a gorgeous 11 bedroom property um, on Grace Bay Beach um, in the Turks and Caicos. Now this particular property can be rented as a six, as an eight or as an 11 bedroom. Now the main house is an eight bedroom, but then you also have the beach house, which is the three bedrooms. So you can rent the main house and you can rent the beach house um, to, get to, to get the full 11 bedrooms. But you can also rent it as a six bedroom. Now, when you rent it as a six bedroom, you're still renting the whole home. It's not like the owner's going to rent the other two or five bedrooms. Um, you are just going to pay a reduced cost for the number of bedrooms that you're occupying at Hawksville, but you are still getting the entire property all to yourself. Uh, this property does back up right to the beach. Um, our concierge team has worked with guests. Um, we have done fireworks displays for a wedding proposal um, that was done back there. We have brought horses back there to go horseback riding on the beach. Uh, we have brought jet skis. We have done... Um, a um, private dinner right on the beach. So there's a lot of really unique things that we can do at Hawksville and have done at Hawksville. Uh, but this is one of three of my favorite properties um, in the entire portfolio. I'm looking forward to heading back down to the Turks um, this summer. Um, it, it's one of my favorite destinations and hopefully Hawksville um, will be open when I am down there. It tends to book quite often, but if it's open, I'm definitely going to, uh, to stop by and pay it a visit because it is one of my favorites. Uh, this is Promise Seas. This is a beautiful eight bedroom property. It sits on its own private beach in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. It is fully staffed. Um, it is one of our founders favorite properties. So I promised them I would have it in the presentation. You know, when we talk about value, so this is a beautiful eight bedroom property in Jamaica, fully staffed on its own private beach. And it starts at right around $3,600 a night. So that's $450 per bedroom. Compare that to one of the all-inclusive resorts in Jamaica. And what I want you to think about is when you're talking to guests, we're looking for multiple hotel rooms or multiple um, resort rooms. Why the villa is such an important option to include? Number one, if your clients are traveling with small children and they're staying at a resort, typically they're having to wake up early to go reserve a pool chair for a great view of the kids in the pool, or they're having to go reserve a beach chair to have um, a great location on the beach. That doesn't happen at the villa. At the villa, number one, you are not going to be sharing the pool with a thousand or 1500 of, uh, other resort guests. Number two, your clients are not going to have to wake up extra early to go reserve a pool or a beach chair. Number three, if they're traveling with small children, when the children need to go take a nap, usually one, two or three guests or, or uh, taking the kids back up to the hotel room or the resort room and they're, they're spending two, three hours with the kids in the room while they are napping. Here at the villa, that doesn't happen. You can bring the kids 
right in, put them down for a nap, and you can let the staff know that the children are napping and the staff will watch the kids while your clients can go right back out to the beach or they can go right back out to the pool area. Again, I, I would highly encourage when you're getting multiple hotel room requests or multiple resort room requests, consider the villa as an option for your clients as well. This is La Paloma. Um, this is a typical um, Barbadian style architecture um, home. It is on the beach. Um, it is a five bedroom property starting at $775 per night. Again, if you do the math, that's about $150 um, per bedroom to be in a beachfront property in Barbados. Um, this is Neo. This is one of the most spectacular properties in St. Bart's overlooking St. John Beach. I love this property because the owner spared absolutely no expense. It is an ultra modern property. Um, the attention to detail in the architecture, in the furnishings, in the open floor plans, but most importantly, the views um, is, is second to none in all of St. Bart's. I would say between Neo and Wake Up um, is, is the other property that I, uh, that I love in St. Bart's. St. Bart's is great for um, surfers, but it is especially great if you have clients that are foodies. Some of the best food in all of the Caribbean um, is on St. Bart's. This is Mesa Me. This is a very large 14 bedroom property overlooking the ocean. Um, and as you can see through the presentations, I love the views. Um, and um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, we look for those expansive outdoor living spaces where, you know, the friends and the families and loved ones can gather um, and they can enjoy a breakfast or a, a, a sunset dinner or even just a simple cocktail hour um, back there. Now, with our concierge team, we can bring in spa services into the villas like masseuses. We can bring in uh, yoga instructors and tai chi instructors and personal trainers and villas where we've got tennis courts. We can bring in uh, tennis instructors as well. But this is a beautiful 14 bedroom property. This is on the French side of St. Martin. So now we will get into Mexico. And in Mexico, the most popular destinations are Riviera Maya, Punta Cana, I'm sorry, Riviera Maya, Punta Mida, Puerto Vallarta, and Cabo. Now, like the Caribbean, where um, oftentimes the minimum night stay is seven nights, in Mexico, it is also seven nights. But the Rental Escapes website is going to detail for you exactly what the minimum night stay requirement is based on the time period that your clients are traveling. Um, some villas will have a five night minimum, some villas will have a seven night minimum. Sometimes during the holidays, those, those minimums will go up to 10, 12, or even 14 night minimums. Um, also, uh, Costa Rica is by far uh, the fastest growing destination right now. Um, in the entire portfolio, we have seen tremendous demand for Costa Rica in 2024. Um, we're getting ready to head back down there to look at some additional inventory in Tamarindo and Papagayo because of the demand that we are seeing. Um, and then we've got a really unique property in, um, in Panama. It's on the Caribbean side of Panama, which I will show you in just a second. This is Casa Aramara. This is in Punta Mida. This is a beautiful 12-bedroom beachfront property. It is fully staffed. And the staff in this property in my opinion, our top two. Um, there's one other property, I don't have it on here, um, <clears throat> that I believe has um, equal on par staff to um, Casa Aramara. Um, we are in the process of onboarding that property. We got back from Punta Mita a couple months ago. We're now bringing this property online. Um, and um, really looking forward to having that property because it's a really unique property. Uh, but this is Aramara, this is a 12 bedroom um, beachfront property. This is Ambre and Ephesus, um, very unique um, property in Tulum. Um, we've done quite a number of wellness retreats at this property. There's a very um, zen-like feeling when you're um, at this property. Um, and we just, um, like I said, we've done a couple wellness retreats. Um, we are gearing up for a yoga retreat um, that is going to be taking place this summer um, here at this particular property. This is Casa Alang, Alang in Tamarindo, Costa Rica. Um, the expansive views from this property from every angle, whether it's the oceans or um, 
the, the mountains um, is just absolutely incredible. This is a very large, it's about a 15, almost 16,000 square foot um, property. Um, between um, Tamarindo and Papagayo, those are the two most popular destinations um, right now being booked in, uh, in Costa Rica. But Alang Alang is a very unique property. And again, this is an eight bedroom. It'll sleep 19 guests starting right around $2,300 per night. You're talking $300 per bedroom. Uh, for this beautiful five-star property in Costa Rica. Now, I mentioned earlier, I have three favorite properties. Hawksville is one of them. Um, Sweet Bocas is at the very top. This is my number one favorite property in the entire portfolio. Um, Anik is also probably one of my favorite owners. Um, and her chef, Andres, is just, what he does with food, he is just an artist. And the experience that Anik and her entire team, including Chef Andres, put on over at Sweet Bocas, in my opinion, is really second to none. Um, as you see, the water, the, the, the villa sits over water, but it is part of a large 15-acre um, estate. Um, everything that Andres cooks, for the most part, is all farm to table. Um, all the fruits and vegetables are, co are coming right from, from the property. Um, there's a lagoon right in the middle where you can go fishing. You can also go fishing um, from, the, uh, from the deck outside of the villa. Um, but this is a beautiful nine-bedroom property. Um, the rates will fluctuate throughout the year. Um, we don't have the set rates on there, um, but the rates do fluctuate through, um, throughout the year. But if you have clients that are looking for truly unique villa experience, um, this is over in Boca del Toro in Panama. It's on the Caribbean side. Um, the weather out there is absolutely spectacular. There's no threat of hurricanes. I was having this conversation with Anik the other day. Hey, what about hurricanes? Where they are situated, for as long as she's had that villa, there has never been a threat for a, uh, for a hurricane. And this villa um, uh, is safely protected where, it is, uh, where it's at. So here in the US, we also have a very expansive portfolio and we are constantly adding to that portfolio. We have a lot of beach available. We have villas in the mountains. We have um, city center properties. We have villas here in Orlando where I'm located less than 10 minutes away from um, the, uh, the main gate of, uh, of Walt Disney World. So this is Villa Haven, very modern four bedroom property on the water. Um, it's in Coconut Grove. It's Coconut Grove is within the city limits of Miami. Um, in Miami Beach, the only thing we have now are, are uh, luxury apartments, luxury condos. Um, the, the overall city of Miami Beach has banned short term rentals. However, um, the luxury apartments and condos do not fall within that ban. Um, but any short term rental um, in Miami Beach. Um, is pretty much banned um, per, uh, for the city, local government. Uh, this is Treehouse Oasis. Uh, this is my kids' favorite villa. Um, this is a beautiful three-story villa, uh, 10 bedrooms, it will sleep 36. The owner of this villa built an indoor laser tag room with a former New York City police car in it. Um, it also has a giant treehouse, as you can see it. Um, there's a pull down movie screen uh, that comes down so the kids can do um, uh, like a sleepover and they've got bean bags. Um, it has home theater, it has video arcades, um, it has a laser maze. Many of our villas here in Orlando have themed bedrooms. So uh, if you have children or even adults that are traveling and they like Jurassic Park or the Minions or the Avengers or Guardians of the Galaxy or Mickey and Minnie, um, I'm sure we have a themed bedroom um, for them. We have villas with ice skating rinks in them. We have villas with bowling alleys in them. Um, the villas continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger. One of the things that I love about Treehouse Oasis is um, from the third story um, balcony on this property, you can actually see the Disney fireworks at night. This is the Malibu Beach Oasis. Uh, this is a six bedroom in Malibu overlooking the Pacific. And this is one of our newest villas in California that we added. 
We do have properties in Hawaii. This is the Royal Hawaiian. And on the Big Island, if we have any fans of Magnum PI, uh, we also have the, the property that they use for filming Magnum PI, which on the website is called Banyan House. And we have that property on our website as well. This is uh, Valley Vista Mansion in Scottsdale. Get a lot of our golfers love venturing off and they'll do a West Coast golf trip and then they'll do like an East Coast, so they'll, they'll do a, a Caribbean golf trip. But Arizona is big for, uh, for our golfers. So if you have guests who are looking to ski, we do have plenty of ski properties in Colorado, in Utah, in uh, Montana as well. Uh, this is a beautiful six bedroom property. Um, it is in Deercrest, Utah, just outside of Park City. And it will sleep 16 guests comfortably. And you could see in that room that there, um, that is actually a room where uh, when your clients come in from skiing, they can store all of their ski equipment and then they can walk into that dry room um, and actually warm up from being outside. I will wait one second for it to come back up and I will show it to you once again. There it is right there. They can just come in and, uh, and warm up. All right, so let's head on over to, to Europe. Um, Europe, as I mentioned, is seasonal. Um, it will run uh, mid-April through mid-October. Um, these are seven night minimum stays. They are Saturday to Saturday. The owners are pretty firm on that. Um, top destination is typically Italy. Um, however, in 2024, the top destination is France, primarily being fueled by the Summer Olympics. Um, if you have guests who are looking to go to France in the summer, I will tell you there isn't much space left. There is some, but it's not much. Um, Spain is also booking up very well and Italy has booked up very, very well. So I mentioned I have three favorite properties. This is my third. This is Villa Giulia. This is a six bedroom property in Positano um, with just breathtaking views throughout this property. Now, one of the reasons why we do, don't do online booking and we wanna to get to know um, your clients is if we have guests who are um, older in age or might have mobility issues, Julia might not be a property that we would recommend. The reason being is to get to the villa, you do have to take a set of stairs or steps um, to get up to the property. So if we know that um, the guest has mobility issues, this is not going to be a property that we would recommend. Um, or if we're looking at uh, two-story properties, we will look to make sure that there are uh, bedrooms on the ground floor. This is Chateau Pessac. This is a beautiful six bedroom chateau. If you have clients who are wine aficionados, um, this is a beautiful property in Bordeaux. It has its own wine cellar, its own wine room. Uh, we can also arrange private tours of the nearby vineyards as well. Um, this is on about 140 plus acres and the owner has done a very nice job in maintaining the overall um, integrity of the architecture on this property. This is Suzette. This is a six bedroom in Greece. There's an, another incredible view. And you'll see that this particular property starts at 660 euros per night. If you divide that by bedrooms, about 110 euros. If you divide that by guests, it's about 60 euros per guest to be in a beautiful villa in Greece. This is Hacienda Florentina in Marbella. We are expanding in Marbella, we are expanding in Mallorca, we are expanding in um, Ibiza as well. Uh, but this is a beautiful seven bedroom in Marbella. Now I'm gonna skip through these real quick because I wanna be able to get into, um, I wanna make sure at least time for, for some questions. But as I said earlier on the concierge team, if your clients can dream of it, we will create it. For us, no is not an option. Um, and this is the team that, at three months prior to your client's arrival, or if you're traveling during the holidays at five months prior to your client's arrival, 
you will begin working with our concierge team or if you want us to work directly with your clients we can as well but this is the team that's going to arrange all of the in villa services as well as all of the in destination experiences um, we will coordinate um, any flight schedules that you might arrange for your clients we will make sure that the staff is aware so they know when to expect your clients um, we do arrange ground transportation we arrange private jets private yachts um, spa services, um, birthday parties, magicians, again, anything and everything that your clients can dream of, we will create it. Like the villas being fully vetted and inspected, so are all of the service providers that we work with. We look to ensure that any service member we bring in, that there's been a background check that's been done on them, uh, that the cars are um, for private transportation, that they are clean inside and out that all the drivers have licenses, that the cars are insured. Um, even when we travel, that we're going into the destinations to visit the villas, we use a lot of these services ourselves just to make sure that the service is what it should be. Um, and we are reporting back to our concierge team and our director of concierge with feedback, letting them know what we experience. Now, I know that sometimes you're going to be able to find a lesser expensive service than what our concierge team is able to provide. And you are always more than welcome to book those services on your own. Um, but I would always encourage you to book with us because again, we have vetted these service providers. We've done the background checks on these service providers. We've used these service providers and we've had relationships with many of them going back to day one, going back to 12 years. So if an issue ever arises, if a change needs to be made, we have relationships with these individuals and with these companies and we can very easily take care of these situations for your clients. Now, working with us is very simple. At first, it starts off with an inquiry. As I mentioned, there's no online booking, so I would always recommend um, to give us a call, have a conversation with a villa specialist, um, allow them to get to know you, allow them to get to know your clients' needs and travel habits. Let us know how many guests are traveling, where are they looking at traveling to, what is their budget, how many bedrooms, um, what is the purpose of the trip, is it a friends and family, a multi-gen, is it a... Uh, a corporate event? Um, is it a wedding? Anything and everything that you can provide for us, we are going to take that information back. And we are going to provide you with a very detailed quote on a number of properties that we believe are ideal for you to present for your clients, for them to have an exceptional villa experience. That quote is going to include the villa rate. It'll include any taxes and fees charged by the villa. It will include the payment terms. Payments are usually a 50% deposit up front with the balance being due 60 to 120 days out. Uh, the cancellation terms will vary villa by villa because those terms and those payment terms are established by the owner. We just follow those terms. So you may get a quote with three or four different villas and get different payment and cancellation terms because again, they're established by, by the owner. Once your clients have selected a villa, we will begin the booking process. We will secure the villa with the owner. We will send you rental agreements. We will collect payment. Um, and then we will uh, confirm that booking with the, uh, with the owner. As I mentioned, at three months prior, if your clients are not traveling during the holidays or five months prior, if they are, we will assign a concierge and you can begin working with the concierge in arranging all of those services. Any future inquiries that you might have, you are free to reach back out to your villa specialist. They are now your dedicated villa specialist. Even though you call them for one destination today and you have a different destination for tomorrow, it is okay. They are highly trained, they're highly traveled. They know these villas inside and out. So as a former travel advisor at one point in my career as well, I can tell you that we as a company value our relationships with our travel partners. We do provide a 10% commission guaranteed throughout the year as well as bonus commissions. Um, and again, in the month of May, we do have that bonus commission of up to $5,000. We partner with Joni and our, and our friends to do these webinars throughout the year. I also host webinars. So if you go on rentalescapes.com, at the very bottom, there's a link that says Travel Advisors. I would encourage you to visit that page and register uh, for a free account that's gonna get you into our system. You will also see you can register for Wednesdays with Willie. I open up my calendar every Wednesday from two to five o'clock for 15 minute appointments. Um, we can talk about anything and everything you would like during those 15 minutes. We can talk about villas, we can talk about marketing, uh, we can talk about transitioning from mass market to luxury, 
I am here to help you in any which way that I can. Plus, I also do, um, uh, I'll do webinars throughout the month. It's also by registering, it's gonna get you into my database. The first ever every month, I send out an email called the Keys to Success, which has important information, any promotions, any bonus commissions, any webinars that I have coming up, any fam trips that I am doing, all that is located within that email. We do offer full commission protection, meaning that your client is your client, you are our client. So in the event that your client should ever contact us directly, we are going to reach out to you. We're gonna let you know that your client has reached out. Would you like for us to secure the booking under your IATA number or CLIA number and pay you the commission? Or would you like to contact the client directly and then we can work with you on confirming that booking? But either which way, you never have to worry about us talking to your client because we will always protect your commission. And then lastly, we have the industry's first and only rewards program. So with that, I'd like to say thank you. And before I turn it over to Joni for some quick questions, I always like to um, uh, provide you with my contact information. So my email address is willie at rentalescapes.com. My mobile, this is my personal mobile, 407-946-5099. You are free to reach out to me seven days a week, day or night. If by chance I don't answer because I'm doing a webinar or I'm traveling or I'm in a meeting, please leave me a message. Um, you can send me a text message. You can send me a WhatsApp message. I can assure you I will return your call as quickly as I can. Um, and if uh, the soonest that I can get to it, if it's at the end of the day, I do return all calls and all messages by the end of every day. Okay. Lastly, we provide a full marketing toolkit. So as a former travel advisor myself, and now as the CMO, I'm always looking for tools to help you grow your business. So we have a full marketing toolkit, which includes a library of social media images. It includes Instagram reels. It includes website images. These are all approved for you to use. We created the library for you. It also includes an unbranded website and an unbranded magazine that you can share with your clients. Now, again, they can't book from it, they can't inquire from it, they can't call from it, but you can share villas directly with your clients. If you want that toolkit, simply email my team, marketing at rentalescapes.com. Let them know you were on the webinar with me today and Joni, and just let them know how much you enjoyed it and that you would like the toolkit, the marketing toolkit. And a member of my marketing team will respond to you and they will send you that toolkit. And then if you want to arrange a Wednesday with Willie, I can show you exactly how to use that toolkit to drive sales for, uh, drive Villa sales for you. So with that, Joni, I am going to turn it back over to you and we can take some questions. Fantastic, wow. This is so interesting. I learned so much today and I wanna to go to all of these places, which I'm sure everybody else feels the same way after seeing this. Um, so we do have lots of questions. I don't think we're going to be able to get to all of them, folks, um, within our hour. But nonetheless, I want you to know that he will receive all of your questions additionally this afternoon so he can reach out to you independently if we've not answered them here. So I don't want you to think they're going to get put on the wayside. We're gonna definitely, he'll definitely have a chance to get to them. Willie, this was great. So here we go. I'm going to try a few of these. Um, do you have villas in the Charleston, Savannah area? um savannah no uh, charleston i believe so okay all right uh do you let's see are the menus i know I, I, I know i'm in the oh, carolinas boy. and in the outer banks i know i'm on myrtle beach i know i'm in hilton head i believe okay. I believe Charleston, I, I do, um, but again, I, I'm going from memory. Okay, well, I'm, they can reach out to you though on that. Do you have villas um, that are connected to all-inclusive resorts? Um, in, in some, uh, right now, so like for instance, the villas in Casa de Campo, you can purchase the all-inclusive package that they offer. I think it's about $125 or $150 per day. Um, but other than that, I I don't per se. Um, I have some one-offs that, that offer some sort of like all-inclusive food and beverage package. Um, but like for instance, I know Sandals has villas I, I don't have any of the Sandals Villas per se. I'm I'm looking for really like independently owned 
villas wherever possible. Okay. So if you could um, one more time repeat the email for the toolkit. Sure. It is, it's very simple. It is marketing, M-A-R-K-E-T-I-N-G, at rentalescapes.com. And again, awesome. just okay. let my team know you were on the webinar today and you would love the toolkit. All right, sounds good. Okay, um, could you kind of go for over real quickly the advisor point? Um, again, how many points per dollar and how much to exchange the points for the stay? Somebody just wanted to run through that again. Yeah, um, so um, we do um, a point, uh, so we'll do um, point per dollar and then throughout the year, we'll also do some double point and even triple point days. Um, and then um, and then you're able to exchange those points um, for for the villa stays. The, the, the villas will have varying point values per se. So depending on the villa that you're looking at, the villa specialist will let you know exactly how many points you would actually need. Okay. Are there social media marketing materials available for villas? It, in the marketing toolkit, these are all of the approved social media images and Instagram reels, the Instagram videos. We have the full library. And once we send you that link, uh, that link is for you to use. We are constantly updating these libraries with current information. Okay, great. Uh, somebody was asking, um, does your company make flyers for the marketing? I think you probably have to make your own flyers, the agents, the advisors, correct? Uh, that is correct. However, I am working on a um, print collateral library that I hope to have later on this year. Okay. Um, so you can use so that trade shows just... and local events. Okay. Okay. Do I understand that if we cannot locate a villa on the site that we can send in a request? Yes. Um, we okay. do have what we call our pocket listings. So not all of our villas are on the website. Um, we do have villas due to the exclusive nature and who owns the villa. Uh, they've told us you can have the villa, um, you can rent our villa, but we can't have you publish it because of who um, owns it. Um, it may be celebrity owned or politician owned and so forth, but they've asked us if you've got a really great client who wants to stay at the property, it's, you know, it's yours. So, um, you know, again, if you go on the website and you don't see it, it doesn't mean I don't have it. Um, you, you still want to reach out to the villa specialist. Okay, so and I'm assuming everybody would just reach out to you for the toolkit, correct? Marketing at rentalescapes.com. Marketing, yep, exactly. My, okay, yep, perfect. That's my, right. yep. A member of my marketing uh, team will get that email and they'll respond. Okay, perfect. Do you have properties that can house as many as 50 guests? Yes. Well, that was a, that was an easy answer. I like those guys. <laughs> Good. Um, um, you, let's so see. I, I even have properties here. that are next door to one another. Um, wow. So, okay. You know, so like for where instance, where are those in, located? That that agent, that advisor is looking to ask where those might. She must have a really good group. A Kendra, I think that's awesome. Uh, where are they located? Uh, I've got some down in the Caribbean. I, I my big thirty-two bedroom is out in Greece. Um, wow. So I, I've got villas of all shapes and sizes throughout the, uh, the portfolio. Cool. I mean, I, I have a property here in Orlando that'll sleep 36. Wow. Oh, man. And then you can, well, book the property right next, you can book the property right next to that, which will sleep 24. So you can have a total of 60. Wow. Between okay. the two villas. Um, and then I think this will take this one as the last question, and then we'll do the prizes because we're running out of time here. Um, but Kendra, that she said that's awesome. She has a family reunion, so I'm assuming she may be reaching out to you. Um, good, good book of business, Kendra. That's awesome. Uh, let's see. I looked at the website Mykonos, and I see that the villas come with 2,000 euros non-refundable damage deposit. Is that something they need to add into the total price? I would assume so. Yes. That is correct. And, and again, when we provide okay. you with the quote. We're going to break everything down for you. We will let you know what the gross villa cost is. We will let you know the taxes and fees that the owners are charging. We will let you know any um, uh, any security deposits. Again, we will break it all down for you so you can present an accurate number to your client. 
awesome. All that. So it's just um, this is so turnkey. I, I don't know how much easier it could get for you to to uh, to do all this. It's amazing. Great information. <laughs> well, besides the fact that everybody has said they love this and it was great information, um, I know it. We have some anxious possible winners as well. So what we're going to be doing today, folks, is we're going to give away three Amazon gift cards. Not one, not two, but three. And two of them are going to be provided by Willie and his team at Rental Escapes. And then one of them will be provided um, by Travel Professional News and my team. So first off, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and do the first question. And I have made the decision today that I'm going to take the 10th correct answer on this one. So folks, you'll want to take and put that answer in the questions area that you've been using already just as fast as you possibly can. And we'll take the 10th correct answer to this one. Um, number one question, name one of Willie's favorite villas. And I believe he gave you three of them or more. All right, we have a winner, and that winner is Carmen. Carmen, you won, and the answer is what, Willie? It is either Sweet Boca's, Hawksville, or Villa Julia. A lot of people got them right, but she was the correct numbered one that got it right. So here we go. Congratulations, Carmen. We'll be sending your information off to Willie so he can provide that to you. All right, I got to clean my screen off. Let's go for number two. Um, we're going to take uh, the, hey, Willie, what's your lucky number? My lucky number is 16. Well, okay, that's actually my favorite number too. So there we go. We're both with, we're right in sync. So we're going to use this number. I'm going to take the 16th correct answer. And that is the question, what is the average cost of food per person per day? Go. Wow, we have a lot of correct answers here. I got to do my counting. All right, the winner of this is, well, my goodness, a good friend of ours, Neil Miller, you have won. Congratulations, Neil. And what is the answer to that, Willie? Um, the, price of food, the price of food will vary. It will be anywhere between 65 and about $125 per person per day for three meals and a snack. Perfect. And Neil was right there in the middle at $100. So there you go. Congratulations, Neil. That's wonderful. And Willie will, will give you his information. Now the third one. And we're going to take uh, the seventh answer to that. All right. So this particular one is going to be, what is the Rental Escapes Concierge model? Number model. seven. So go. What is our motto? What motto. is our tagline? Can't talk. Motto. <laughs> <laughs> what is our tagline? Answer, folks. Hold on. Hurry, 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 folks. Get in there. One, two, three, four. No. Nope. Okay, come on, guys. Joni, no, nobody's dreamed of it yet. Hint. Nobody's well, dreamed of it yet. A zillion, zillion fact. Exactly. I was just going to give him a hint. Any dreams going on out there? I got it. Okay. Woo. All righty. Here we go. Tessa, Tessa, you have won, and we would be sending you a gift card for fifty dollars from Amazon. And the answer is, no, is not an option. If you can dream it, we can create it. Good job. All right. Wow. What a wonderful webinar. I had so much fun. This was fantastic. Thank you Wait, so, so Joni, much. So Joni, I have to ask, where do you want to go? Where's your favorite oh, villa that we showed today? Of today's, I want the one um, that you like too that's over the water. Oh, sweet bokas. Yeah, I like sweet. I like that one. That one, that one, uh, that one got me. I like that one. I'm not sure how that will be with all the grandbabies, though, because there are, some of them are too young and they might have <laughs> all the water surrounding. <laughs> I may have to go pick another one for the first, but that would be good for just me and Tom. That would be good. 
All right, well, wonderful. Yeah, this was so great. Um, I'll I'll be calling you, uh, Willie, to, to book my stay. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. In my dream, maybe you never know. All right. Well, hey, folks, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day. You are all amazing. And Willie, you did such a great job on this. Your enthusiasm is honestly contagious. I love it. Um, thank you so much for your time today. Agents, thank you for your time today. Joni, and again, thank you so much for hosting and for just giving us this opportunity. Um, I am certainly looking forward to the next one. So advisors, be on the lookout. There will be another webinar. I'm going to take you to another part of the world where I'm going to showcase for you some of my favorite villas in that part of the world. Um, maybe we'll do the Caribbean. Maybe we'll do Mexico. Maybe we'll do Europe. You never know. But stay tuned to Travel Pro News because we will be doing another webinar soon. I think that's awesome. I can't wait. All right. Look forward to it. Everybody have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.